Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Far Out Wisdom Podcast. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day. And remember, guys, to take a deep breath. And remember to relax and that do the things that you are able to control and let go of the things that you cannot control. That's my wisdom for today. But uh, I know you guys haven't heard from uh, anything from me for quite some time. But uh, uh, currently going through some stuff in regards to my health. I was recently treated for a UTI and a lung infection and a middle, middle ear infection. So it made podcasting really difficult to do when you have to have your earphone right in, right your earphones in your ears. And so right at the moment, my right ear is damaged. So I'm holding my, I'm, I, my, my earphones, I have to like wear it on my left ear because my, that ear is working properly, but my right ear, it's, it's the one that it's experiencing an infection. So I got a boo-boo and, uh, uh, a lot has been going on with my son, uh, currently in the process of putting him, him in school. So he is in kindergarten and, uh, yeah, so work related. Still going to work, doing my thing. This whole pandemic thing, it's starting to kind of, you know, not not necessarily taking a toll on me, but at the fact that it's making very it very difficult to, you know, deal with my son and things like that. So it's really complicated. So we are getting him treatment for uh, his speech. And just like, you know, in my podcast episode that I talked about before, he, he has autism. He's on the spectrum, but uh, everything on that little boy works properly. Uh, so... You know, he's he's an outdoorsy kid, so um, all his body part works. And, you know, the only thing that we're having issue is that he doesn't want to have a conversation. And it's ironic because his mother has a podcast and she talks for a living. Well, not necessarily, but I podcast and I talk on as a side job and uh, he he doesn't. So um, and so I'm currently dealing with health issues and family and, and all that good stuff. And my birthday is coming up, guys. I I. I was born in on August 16th, 1988, uh, the same month and date as Charles Bobatsky. I think that I, correct, I pronounced that correctly, but uh, he was born. We have we shared the same birthday and I always make I always make the joke that Charles is reborn as an Asian person with a K-pop body. I always I always, you know, make that joke. I, I know that's pretty arrogant and talk about arrogance that's the topic that we're going to be talking about today we're going to talk about narcissism so before we begin uh you guys know that i am my own jamie i pretty much do everything on my own if you guys would like to support the far out with some podcast you guys you guys can do so um via paypal patreon um venmo and uh, everything, the link is in the description down below. If you guys want me to improve and things like that, you guys can send me an email or a comment or anything like that. And also, another good thing is that um, the Far Out Wisdom podcast is an, available on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Podcast Attic, Overcast FM, Radio Public, and Deezer Podcasters. So um, I'm in the process of putting um, the Far Out Wisdom for every platform so you guys could you know you guys want to listen to it on pandora that's what i'm working on it working on right now if you guys want to listen to it, it on iheart radio the far wisdom is going to be on there as well so i'm doing everything in my in, in my power to make it available to, for you guys and to my people who is hard of hearing um i am going i'm in the process of putting the entire Far Out Wisdom podcast on transcription so you guys can read along with me. It is on YouTube as well. So I'm in the process of doing doing that as well. So the only thing that's not going to be on YouTube is the mini series. So I'm talking about, um, you know, everyone needs a BJ, drunk philosophy, the the wisdom of Rick and Morty, wisdom of Star Trek and stuff is not going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on behind a paywall or exclusively on only the players that I have listed because I really, I'm not really in the mood of, you know, going head to head with YouTube. You know, you guys know that I cuss a lot on my podcast, so it, make it makes it very difficult for me to, um, you know, monetize my videos and things like that. So we have to uh, be nice on YouTube to be kid friendly. So 
I don't blame him for that. That's, that's their platform and what they want to do. So anyways, <clears throat> be, uh, the, the, the topic that I really want to talk about today is narcissism. And with narcissism, I know that you guys, you know, when you guys get, get into like a heated argument, uh, the other person's going to accuse of being a nar- you being a narcissist and things like that. And I always get accused myself of being a narcissist. But uh, I took a couple tests online the other day and I was like, you know what? Am I a narcissistic, narcissistic person? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I don't show the characteristics that I'm going to be talking about today. You guys would un- will understand what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I'm going to break it down for you guys what narcissistic personality disorder is. And every time that, uh, you know, I go, I get into like a fallout or something like that. I don't get along with somebody. They always accuse me of being a narcissistic person. And it's always the fucking narcissist that accuse me of being a narcissistic, narcissistic person. I swear to God. And if you guys are friends with me on Facebook or on social media and you guys, you know, have a conversation with me, I'm not really, you know, I, I don't, I don't normally, um, you know, post pictures of myself I, I'm not saying that a narcissistic person po- posts p- pictures of themselves or anything like that but I don't I don't show that self absorb absorbent you know kind of criteria that you know makes somebody a narcissistic person so I'm gonna look at the definition for you guys and a um the narcissism is you know I'm, I'm looking at the the information that I'm getting it from is from Mayo Clinic and narcissistic personality disorder so the overview Narcissistic personality disorder, one of several types of personality disorder, is a mental condition in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationship, and a lack of empathy for others. But behind this mass of extreme confidence lies a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to the slightest criticism. So letting you guys know that um, in the past, I did have an episode to telling somebody not to tell me not to tell me how to run my podcast. And and I don't remember what exactly what I said in that episode, but uh, he was trying to uh, tell what the direction or try to take over the podcast. And the, the only criticism that I got for him was the fact that it was one grammar issue. And guys, I really don't care about my grammar and stuff like that on, on a podcast. I just, podcasting is pretty much like a radio, form, not pretty much, but like a, like a, a relationship between a radio. Uh, what are you, what you are talking about that it's what matters most, you know, and, and pretty much the grammar just bother him. And he was like, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that. So, <clears throat> and I have to write to, to tell somebody, I go, Hey, you know, this is the far it was in podcast. This is what I believe the direction that it should go. And, um, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to take your advice. However, that uh, maybe I should like, you know, download the app Grammarly or something like that. But um, me, my, in the Fart Wisdom podcast, I'm more concerned about the content more in relation to pretty much what I write in the description as best as I can. So I'm that, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much what um, I mean by that. But I'm that, you know, I, I welcome uh, people uh, in the comment section to you know, hey, you know, could you talk to in the microphone more closely? Could you, you know, cut your theme music in half or, you know, something like that? I, I do accept anything that will make me um, get better at pos- podcasting because, you know, I'm on my 55th, this is going to be my 56th episode. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I personally feel that I should do a little bit better. Um, I should make it longer. I should make it more um, available in all podcasts and things like that. So make it available to you. And what can I do to better my podcast in a way that I can share my wisdom along with everybody else and bring the best people, bring the best minds together to share our wisdom. And so I pretty much do everything in my, my power to do that and to make it better. And like I said, I really want, I invest in a lot of money on my, my equipment and things like that. And, um, you know, to the people that donate, you know, <clears throat> what can I do to make it better for you? And so you guys, you know, believe in me and give me you know, uh, your money and you help the far with some podcasts. So I really appreciate that for everybody that donated. You guys are fucking awesome. You guys are super, super far out. Thank you so much for that. But anyways, there's a difference though with somebody who is narcissistic because they only care about themselves. And my dad was, is a narcissistic person. And my sister, um, who I talk about a lot on, on my podcast, um, uh, she agrees with me that, you know, that's the case with him. So 
A narcissistic personality disorder causes problem in many areas of life, such as relationships, work, school, or financial affairs. People with narcissistic personality disorder may be generally unhappy and disappointed when they're not given the special favors or admiration they believe they deserve. They may find their relationship unfulfilling and others may not enjoy being around them. Treatment for narcissistic personality disorder centers talk around uh, talk therapy, psychotherapy. So, you know, I, I don't know if there's a cure for anything like that, but I believe that there is a there's there's way for the individual to um, go to a therapist and uh, I'm not really sure cognitive behavior therapy is one of the treatment for it, but uh, I don't believe there's a cure. So I might be wrong for that. But if you guys have any information about narcissistic personality disorder or you guys have it, um, you know, you guys could come on my podcast and we could talk about it. So that'd be awesome. So anyways, the symptoms. So you guys are wondering, okay, am I narcissistic? So let's go through the symptoms. The signs of symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder and the severity of symptoms may vary with the people with with people. Uh, so I can't read today. Jesus. Signs and symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder and the severity of the symptoms vary. People with the disorder can one have a exaggerated sense of self-importance, have a sense of entitlement and require constant and excessive admiration. Expect to be recognized as superior even without achievements that warrant it. Exaggerate achievement and talents. Preoccupied with fantasies about success, power, brilliance, beauty, or the perfect mate. Believe they are superior superior and can only associate with equally special people. Monopolize conversations and belittle or look down on people they perceive as inferior. Expect special favors and unquestioning compliance with their expectation. Take advantage of others to get what they want. Have an inability or un- unwillingness to recognize the needs and feelings of others. Be envious of others and believe others envy them. Behave in an arrogant or haughty manner. Come across as conceited, boastful, and pretentious. Insist on having the best of everything. For instance, the best car or office. So I'm going to talk about a little bit a couple of that that I recently came across to somebody that's like that and to be honest with you guys a person who is narcissistic they the best thing you can do is to not engage with them and immediately set boundaries and limitation and cut that relationship if necessary if they are providing absolutely nothing of substance to you and this is coming from somebody that you know who have many who have come across many narcissistic people and from my experience the best thing you can do is not to engage with them because you're going to feed their fucking ego and they want that they want that attention even though it's negative they they feed off of that you know what i mean so the um i come across somebody who is very you know He made he made a comment that you know oh I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the next you know fucking best podcaster in the world, you know what I mean? And I'm like, are you, are you really? You know what I mean? I, I, look, if you are a podcaster or you're podcasting, I mean I'm not really sure you're gonna even get to the point of Joe Rogan. You know what I mean? The reason why I started podcasting is because I really like talking about stuff like this, especially when it comes to psychology, and um. You know, the person was boastful, conceited, you know, talk about only themselves. And so what you do is, is that that's pretty much the characteristics of a narcissistic personality disorder. Sometimes there's a difference between having confidence and being an arrogant prick. You know what I mean? There's, there's a difference. And like to the thing that I notice about this individual is that he will do things for you in a way that he could hold you uh, for it. <clears throat> like, for instance, give you something. And when you give, when that person, th- th- this is my wisdom for you guys. Don't ever get anything or receive anything or, or get involved with somebody with a narcissistic personality disorder. Whatever you do, don't do it. Because they're like a venomous spider. So what they're like tarantulas. So what they do is, is that the web that they make, they catch you, right? They catch you and then they fucking consume you 
to be a part of them. You know, narcissistic people, they're like vampires. They feed off of you. Especially somebody who is very confident in themselves or comfortable with themselves. And so they want to be that themselves because they're nothing inside themselves. And so <clears throat> remember, don't get anything from them. Especially when it comes to like material things. Don't do it because you are O for life to them. So I suggest that you guys, if somebody, you know, the characteristics which of a narcissistic personality disorder, if you notice that, look it up. And if they fit all the fucking criteria, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but fucking book. If you guys are in a relationship and, and you guys are stuck, um, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you what to do. But for your own good, this is my advice. For your own good, I suggest you to kind of slowly cut your way out of their web. Okay. And like, you know, he would like talk over you. Every advice that I gave him, he's like, no, I'm going to do everything my way. I'm just going to, you know, there's a difference between accepting criticism to the point this person, when you tell them, hey, you know, I do it this way. You, you, I do it. I run things this way. I don't know about you, but I think this is a good way. What do you think? Ugh, no, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to fucking spend a bunch of money on this thing because, you know, I think it's better because I'm a person who have to be, everything has to be fucking perfect type of thing you know what I mean the fucking arrogance right and like I knew right away that this is trash that I have to get rid of and I am happy that I did and luckily I did not invest a lot of my time and energy in something like this because I knew deep down and in, like intuitively I knew that this was something that I do not want to get involved with and I'm so glad that you know like I said I, I'm just a lot of my like the shoulders like the the weight of my shoulders just kind of like ugh, I feel a lot better because that's what they do they they fucking suck your blood they do everything in their power to to they're like you can say energy vampires but anyway I like I like comparison like I like comparing them to spiders like tarantulas because of the fact that they're they're so charming I'm not saying spiders are charming they're more like they got the looks of a sexy vampire, but they they use tactic of tactics of a of a spider. Okay, that makes sense, and that's what pretty much what I'm trying to say. So, anyways, that's you know how I see them. You know what I mean? And so, anyways, um, I'm going to link, like I said, I'm going to link all the characteristics down below, and you guys could you know um, see what I'm talking about. So to continue. At the same time, people with narcissistic personality disorder have trouble handling anything they perceive as criticism, and they can become impatient or angry when they don't receive special treatment. So, you know, even just the slightest, hey, I do this this way. Ugh. So you're saying that, you know, you don't fucking believe in me. You don't you, you don't agree with anything that I say. Oh, come on, dude. And so that's pretty much what it is. And I've learned along the way. And I dealt with many people with narcissistic personality disorder to not engage. Whatever you do, let them throw their fucking tantrum and don't engage with them because it's just going to make everything worse. It's going to, you know, drain your energy and things like that. So it's not fucking worth it. And so, you know, even the slightest criticism, telling them that, you know, hey, I do this this way. You know, this is just a suggestion. Oh, I'm not going to do it that way. No way. You know, anything that I say, he brush it off his shoulders. And I'm, I'm not going to deal with stuff like that because I'm better than this. This is not what I'm all about. So... And you know you, you got to listen to you got to listen to the conversation that they say. So if you, for example, and Brene Brown talks about this about real friends, and she was on Oprah, and I'm gonna link that video down below, where she talks about real friends, and she said a real friend will listen to what you have to say. Well, every time like I express myself to this particular person, what they do is is that they will turn around and make it about them. Does that make sense? Like you ever come across somebody who's like, you know, you tell them, hey, man, I'm having a bad day. Oh, you're having a bad day. Well, guess what? My car broke down. I stepped my toe this morning. I didn't eat breakfast. Da, da, da. That's what that's pretty much what a narcissistic person person will do. They will switch the conversation back to them and make it about them. You know what I mean? Another point. Um, have significant interpersonal pro interpersonal problems and easily f easily feel slighted. <clears throat> react with, with rage or contempt and try to belittle the other person to make themselves appear superior. And that's pretty much what the person did, the individual did, and I'm not going to deal with that anymore. They belittle you, <clears throat> they make you that you're inferior, 
and that everything that you do, it's not going to be worth up to them. You're not up to their standards. You're not up to their level. You know what I mean? And it's like, and when you come across people like that, you, you think to yourself, like, what the fuck made them like this? And I'm, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just, you know, like, let me, let me talk about my dad, for example. My father, um, he's a lot better now. Now that he has become older, he has become a lot better. A lot more, you know, understanding. And he actually became more empathetic as he became older. But when I grew up, <clears throat> my dad always liked to boast to people. He liked to boast and be conceited um, among the neighbor, the Cambodian community, for example. He think he was better than everybody else. He owned the best of the best, the best equipment, the best music player, the best CD player, the best video game, the best cars, right? And that's pretty much what my dad was more concerned about. He liked to show off, right? And with somebody who, who is narcissistic, narcissistic, that's what they do. It's because they have nothing inside themselves, and so they they pretend they like to get off, get off give off this facade that they're happy and oh, oh go so lucky. And um, they not you guys have to realize this is directly to the people who's narcissistic. You guys have to realize that stuff does not determine who you are. And I've said this many many times before. Stuff does not determine who you are because everything that you, because stuff deteriorates, stuff goes away, stuff doesn't have nothing, it has no soul. And so that's why I'm always attracted to people who has a big heart, who's a very loving person, who is really nice and, um, you know, don't belittle other people, no matter who, who they are, you know what I mean? And like, they genuinely do care about other people and it's unfortunate that these people are the same people that the narcissistic people go and try to suck the fucking energy from and I feel bad for them and that's why I, I, I had to jump on and start recording about narcissism personality disorder because it's really important because they take your energy they take everything from you and they do everything that they can to destroy you if they see something that they don't like about what they like that they want to be they would try to destroy that person you get what I'm saying so um and they um, have difficulty regulating emotions and behavior. Pretty much, it, they look like they're bipolar. bipolar. They act on p impulse. Um, experience major problems dealing with stress and adapting to change. That's another thing. Uh, feel depressed and moody because they fall short of perfection. And so they have to do like everything have to be perfected. And I'm like that too. Okay, at least I admit it. I'm like that too when it comes to like my podcast and stuff like that. Everything has to be perfect. But at the same time, I'm learning along the way. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm going to do everything I can for foul. And if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. There's nothing I can do about it. People are not going to listen to it. People are going to listen to it. People are going to support it. People are not going to support, support it. And there's nothing I can do about it. Only The only thing I can do is just do me. Does that make sense, guys? You know, just worry about yourself. And that's pretty much what I'm learning at the moment. And it's a it's a, a good experience that I learned from this. You know what I mean? And uh, they have secret feelings of insecurity, shame, vulnerability, and humiliation. So, like I said, they hate themselves. And so they do everything that they can in their power to destroy another person or being. Because the fact that they're, they feel like they're... they're if I can better than everybody else, they feel like, you know, I feel like shit. Therefore, I'm going to cause hell for other people because I feel like shit myself. I feel nothing within myself. I feel fire. So I'm going to like burn everybody else in my path because at the fact that, you know, I got fucked over type of thing, if that makes sense. So the causes of narcissistic personality disorder. It's not known what causes narcissistic personality disorder. As with personality development and with other mental health disorders, the causes of Narcissistic personality disorder is likely complex. Narcissistic personality disorder may link to environment, mismatches in parent, child relationship with, an, uh, with either excessive ad adoration or excessive criticism that is poorly attuned to the child's experience, genetics, inherent characteristics, neurobiology, the connection between the brain and behavior and thinking, the risk, faster, risk, fa risk factors. Narcissistic personality disorder affects more males than females. And often begins in the teens or early adulthood. Keep in mind that although some children may show traits of narcissism, narcissism, this may simply be typical of their age and doesn't mean they'll go to, on to develop narcissistic personality disorder. Although the cause of narcissistic personality disorder isn't known, some researchers think that in, bi in biologically vulnerable children, parenting style that are overprotective or neglectful may be an impact. 
Genetics and neurobiology may also play a role in development of narcissistic personality disorder. So pretty much the complication is, is that, you know, people who are narcissists, they have relationship difficulties, they have problems on work at school, depression, anxiety, physical health problems, drug, alcohol misuse, suicide, thoughts, and, and behavior. So it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting um, article that I just shared with you guys from Mayo Clinic. And, I, and like I said, I, I wanted to jump on the mic and talk about it real quick. And that if you know somebody who's narcissistic and that it, it is affecting the relationship and that you feel bad that you have to put your foot down or bad that you had to say what you have to say, whatever you do, don't bend the fucking knee. Whatever you do, don't bend the knee. And this is what, how my mother dealt with my father. And this is how I dealt with my dad. And this is pretty much how I dealt with people who are narcissistic in the past. That's how I deal with it. So I want to tell you guys a little bit story. A little story about my friend Aliana Alamo. So Aliana Alamo is a friend that I talked about, I believe, about a couple months ago. Um, she passed away of cancer. And um, she, look... She even admit that she had bipolar disorder and stuff like that. But she knew somebody who is narcissistic. Okay. We can tell. And we had a mutual friend. And I'm not going to fucking drop her name. I let her go. She's out of my life. It doesn't really matter. But um, Aliana called me. Um, I believe back in December. Or November or December. Somewhere around there. And I was going through some shit. And she was going through some deep shit. She had cancer. She had six months to live. And the conversation that I had with her, you know, was eye opening and I learned a lot from her and um, Aliana. And, you know, I know that you're not here with me, um, but just letting you know that you are such an inspiration to me and that I miss you fucking dearly. And I wish that you were alive so um, we could, you know, throw down on some podcasting together and have so much freaking fun. But, um, you know, I, I think about you every single day. And so, you know, you taught me a lot about myself and that, you know, there's a difference between narcissism and confidence. And um, you did so much for me and I really appreciate it. But Aliana lived, I believe she lived in the Netherlands. Um, she moved from Venezuela to the Netherlands for love. And the thing, the funny thing is, is that she lived in California. She lived where I live in Fresno, California. And then she moved to the Netherlands for love. And she had a, she has a baby girl uh, younger than mine. So the little girl, um, her daughter would not have a mother. Um, but uh, I understand that, you know, what Aliana spirit within her daughter, her little girl is going to grow to to be the strongest fucking person. Um, and, you know, she's going to have her mother spirit. So um, letting you guys know that she is one of the reasons why I started the Vara Wisdom podcast. It's because of her. Um, it's because of her strength that she has given me if it's because she gave me you know she, she told me that I had a dream and to continue on with it and that was the last conversation that we had for like four fucking hours that I was on the phone with her but um, we dealt with two narcissistic people um, that we knew mutually and um, she the last time that um, I, I think I believe back in November so what happened was Aliana was having this conversation with this person with this individual and so they were having a, a, a discussion about poverty and living in a hard life. And so Aliana said to this individual, and this individual grew up in a very, you know, she had, her, her parents were um, they well off in the Netherlands, right? And so Aliana made the argument that you don't, to this person, she goes, you don't understand what poverty is. Um, you live in the fucking Netherlands and, and you have a lot of, you know, freedom and um, you have health care, pretty much everything provided for you. You never understood starvation, um, poverty, um, gang violence, you know, um, how it feels that, you know, when is my next fucking meal going to come? And I'm and Aliana was saying that, you know, you don't understand where we're coming from. You don't know the situation that we go through in Venezuela before, you know, it fell down to socialism, right? And so um, they got into an argument. And you know what? It, the fucking audacity of this bitch. And I know I, I shouldn't be fucking cussing. But not, not Aliana. The person that attacked Aliana. The audacity of this person to come to Aliana's home. Go into Aliana's space and her creation. Because Aliana is an artist. Was an artist. And pretty much slam doors, throw shit. You know? And like, 
because they got into like a disagreement because the fact that Aliana called her out on it and said, you don't understand what poverty is. The audacity of this person. That's a narcissistic person. They can't handle a disagreement because they don't understand that because they're spoiled fucking brats. That's what they are. And so they develop this fantasy in their head that they're superior than everybody else. And when in fact, they're nothing but pretty much dead wood. Okay. And they know that. They know that they're just dead wood. And so <clears throat> they'll do everything in their power to destroy somebody because they just they hate themselves. They have high self-hatred. And so we all have to deal with people like that. And the first instinct that you want to do is that you want to retaliate. That you want to go in attack mode. And that's pretty much what happened with Aliana and this particular individual. And she was like, you know, I want this person out of my fucking house. So glad that she um, got out of my house. And you know what? The thing that pisses me the fuck off that makes me angry about the story is the fact that Aliana was receiving cancer treatment. Aliana was sick. And this bitch... Okay, and I, I I know I shouldn't get really I shouldn't get angry or anything like that, but this bitch has the audacity to fucking come into somebody's house and through a small disagreement, threw shit at people when Aliana's daughter was taking a nap on the couch downstairs. You guys, what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about, guys. That's narcissistic personality disorder. They only care about themselves and they don't give a fuck about you. So, my suggestion, guys, is to remove these people. Out of your life. And if it's, it's, if it's your family. Okay. If it's your family. The best thing you can do. Is try to avoid them as much as you can. And not. Take everything that they say to personally. And the thing with my dad is. When he did it was because the fact that he kind of pushed it. In a way to. Um, you know. Make you angry. And I remember my mom was like you know. She's like you know. I learned along the way. That uh, I'm not going to deal with your dad like this anymore. I'm going to move on with my life and just show the motherfucker empathy and compassion. And so that's what you need to do. You need to show these people empathy and compassion and don't give them energy. There's a difference between actual giving energy and resources to actually just showing compassion compassion and, and empathy and just leave it be. Whatever you do, don't engage with these people because it's, it's not going to make it, it's not going to make it better. It's going to piss you off. It's going to tire you out. And it's not going to solve anything. And um, they only care about themselves. And so if they ever accuse you of being narcissistic, you know, do yourself a favor and go and take your take tests online because there's many freaking tests available for you to determine if you have narcissistic personality disorder. And even my own fucking therapist, when I was going to therapy, and um, I had an awesome therapist. And if you guys, you know, take, take a little suggestion from me. Um, I'm not telling you guys what to do or anything like that. But if you have symptoms and if you have mental illness and stuff like that, I recommend going to therapy at least once. It's really helpful, guys. I, I know some people are very egotistical. They don't want to do it. They're like, you know, I have depression. I'll deal with it myself. No. It's good to talk to a professional because I've learned a lot from therapy of 10 decades of therapy and letting, you know, people know that I never was diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and OCD, but never narcissistic personality disorder because I don't show any symptoms. It's always the people that accuses other people. The first thing they say is, oh, you're narcissistic. You don't care about anybody, anybody but yourself is always the one that shows the, the characteristics, the symptoms, and has the whole profile of a, of a narcissistic personality disorder, personality disorder, always. That's from my experience. And I, I don't know about you guys, but like I said, you guys can keep the conversation going. And just like I said, Far Wisdom is on on um the other platforms and stuff like that. You guys can comment and share, and you know, continue the conversation there, um, and talk about it. And so, um, some people can be really abusive, and it can really be damaging to the person and if you guys are you know experiencing you know abuse and stuff like that from a person who's a narc get get some help um it's not you you know and and i know that you know in a relationship you hear it's not you it's me no it's them <laughs> it's like it's them um i'm talking about narcissistic person i'm not talking about someone who's like you know um 
you know, regular person who, you know, if you go with me or break up, it's you, it's, it's not me, it's you, or it's me, it's not you, and, you know, the same thing. But if it's a narcissistic person, it's them, okay, because they're really exhausting. The moment that you know somebody, and if you're intuitive, and if you're empathetic, um, if the person exhausts you, if they suck your energy out, or it's all about them, 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 and everything that you have to do, it's them, don't do it. Don't continue your relationship and fucking cut it off, Okay. So I hope this helps. And like I said, I'm going to link the description down below for you guys to um, share it um, through the social media pa platform and share your story with me, guys. You, go, you guys can email me and share your story and talk about it. And, um, you know, I know that, you know, it could be overwhelming and I know that it could be um, to the point where you're like, you know, I, I, I feel like a bad person because I said, said this and, you know, and of course, nobody don't want to be not liked. I'm like you. I've always wanted to be like, liked from, you know, usually, you know, the admiration and stuff like that. But you have to understand that, you know, there are people that's not going to like you, including the fucking narcissistic person. And especially them, you don't have to prove to them anything. So there's a difference between self love and being a narc. Okay. And I, I want to make that clear. Loving yourself enough to say, I'm not going to fucking do this anymore. I'm going to cut this relationship and that is it. That's self-love for you because you set the boundaries and you set the limitation. And it's okay. And like I said, Brene Brown, look up at her work. You know, she will, she, she will definitely, you know, lift your spirits up. And I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to lift your spirits up. And um, I know it hurts and I understand that. You know, when somebody is, you know, you feel like you can't live without that person because the fact that they gave you something or there's an attachment there, they're not. There's billions of other people that's willing to help you grow as a person. The narcissistic person would not give you the soil. The narcissistic person is not going to water you. The narcissistic person is not going to give you anything. All they're going to do is steal your fucking sunshine. Okay? So as always, guys... Please, if you, if you like what you're hearing, if you guys want me to approve and things like that, the link is in the description of, you know, my PayPal Venmo and, and everything like that. And like I said, all of the Far Out Wisdom podcast is on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, Pandora, etc. So you guys can listen to uh, the Far Out Wisdom in any platform you guys wish because that's my, my gift to you. And I really enjoy it. even just one person listening to this. I'm really fucking happy because it's, it's, it's my way of saying thank you to, you know, giving your time out of your day to listen, your ear bowls to listen to me. And as always, guys, take a deep breath. <sighs> And remember to, to have, you know, go outside and get some nice sunshine to make yourself grow as an individual. As always, guys, stay far out.